Welcome back to Bible Shorts, episode 79, Naaman the Aramean. Today's Bible story starts out in the kingdom of Aram. Remember, the kingdom of Aram was not far from the kingdom of Israel, where the prophet Elisha lives. Now, a soldier called Naaman was commander of the army of the king of Aram. Naaman had won many battles and was highly regarded by his king, but he had developed a skin problem that people worried might be the highly contagious, terrible disease called leprosy. Now, Naaman's wife had a servant girl who had been captured from Israel by one of those bands of raiders from Aram that we learned about last week. The girl said to her mistress, if only Naaman would see the prophet who was in Samaria, he would cure him of his leprosy. So Naaman asked the king of Aram to write a letter to the king of Israel, and he set off to visit the king of Israel with gifts of silver, gold, and expensive clothing. The king of Israel read the letter, which said, I'm sending my servant Naaman to you so you may cure him of his leprosy. The king of Israel tore his robes and said, Am I God? Can I kill and bring people back to life? Why does this fellow send someone to me to be cured of his leprosy? He said, Listen to this. Take note of it. See how he intends to pick a quarrel with me. When Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his robes, he sent him this message. Why have you torn your robes about this man, Naaman? Let him come to me, and he will find there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman came with his men and drew his chariot at the door of Elisha's house. And Elisha sent out a messenger to him. Go and bathe seven times in the Jordan River, and your flesh will become clean once more. Naaman was indignant and went off, saying, Here was I thinking he would be sure to come out to me and stand there and call on the name of the Lord his God and wave his hand over my spots and cure the leprosy. Surely the rivers in Damascus are better than any water in Israel. Could I not bathe in them and be clean? And he turned around and stomped off in a rage. But his servants approached him and said, Master, if the prophet had asked you to do something difficult, would you not have done it? All the more reason then, when he says to you, bathe and you will become clean to do it. So Naaman went down to the Jordan River and immersed himself in the water as Elisha had told him to do. One time, two times, three times, four times, five times, a six times, and then the seventh time his flesh became clean once more like that of a little child. Returning to Elisha with his whole escort, Naaman went and stood before Elisha. Naaman told him, Now I know there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. Now please accept a present from your servant. But Elisha replied, As the Lord lives, whom I serve, I will accept nothing. Naaman pressed him to accept, but Elisha refused. Naaman said, Since your answer is no, allow me to be given as much earth as two mules will carry. I will no longer sacrifice to any god except the Lord God of Israel. When my master, the king of Aram, goes to the temple of Rimmon, the chief god of Damascus, to worship there, he leans on my arm and I bow down in the temple when the the king does. May the Lord God of Israel forgive me this. So why is Naaman going to bring back dirt 
from Israel. Well, back in this time, um, people believed that it was the land itself where the God was. So you couldn't really worship God if you weren't in Israel. So Naaman thinks, okay, this, this Lord God is the God of the whole earth, so I better have some of the earth of Israel or it won't, it won't work if I worship him. Interesting, huh? Go in peace, Elisha said. Naaman had gone a short distance when Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, said to himself, Hmm, my master Elisha has let this Aramean Naaman off lightly by not accepting the gifts he offered. As the Lord lives, I will run after him and get something out of him. So Gehazi set off in pursuit of Naaman. When Naaman saw him running after him, he asked, Is all well? And Gehazi replied, My master has sent me to ask this very moment. Two young men of the prophetic brotherhood have arrived from the highlands. Be kind enough to give them a talent of silver and two festal robes. A talent is like 75 pounds. He's asking for an enormous gift. Oh, please accept two talents, Naaman replied, tying up the two talents in two bags and giving them to his servants to carry them. And when they reached the house, Gehazi took those bags of silver and hid them away. Then Gehazi went back to Elisha, who asked him, Where have you been, Gehazi? I've not been anywhere, Gehazi lied. Uh-oh. Elisha said, Was not my heart there when someone left his chariot to meet you? Now that you've taken the money, oh, you can buy gardens with it and olive groves, sheep and oxen, male and female servants. But now Naaman's leprosy will now cling to you and to your descendants forever. Oh my. And Gehazi left Elisha's presence with the white marks that had covered Naaman the Aramean. You definitely don't want to upset Elisha, do you? Look for Bible Shorts, Episode 80. Isaiah says, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, 